know about you, but year-end favorites are some of my favorite videos. So welcome to my skincare year-end favorites. I'm Jennifer Scott and welcome to my channel, J. Scott Beauty. Thanks for being with me. So it's the end of the year. It's time to wrap up and see what I liked this year. We're not going to go over my mess and my fails. It's just going to be favorites. Like we only want good things, right? Let's just wrap up the year with good things. Ugh. Okay, so starting with skincare, that's all we're doing today. It's no secret that I love skincare. It's half of what this channel is about. So we're going to talk about a lot of my favorite products from this year. I'm not going to kind of go like through my routines. I'm just going to go with my standout products that I kind of don't want to be without no matter what. These are my Desert Island, Holy Grail, Ride or Die, whatever you want to call them. That's what I'm showing you today. So first up, you all know it. It is my Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I wear a lot of makeup. It is no friggin' surprise. I mean, you can see it, but I need to take that makeup off at the end of the day and the Green Clean is, oh, it's there for me every single time I need it. Now, first of all, the smell, oh my God, I love it. I guess it's kind of like a, like a soft lime scent. It's so nice. Oh, the sensorial experience. Thank you very much for that pharmacy. Beyond that, it performs like no other for me. I love the way it melts off my makeup, removing every trace so that when I go in with my cleanser, I know my skin is clean, free of makeup and any other dirt and debris I've picked up throughout the day. I would not have like as good a skin as I do at this age without having a great cleansing system. And for me, it all starts with this. So in the spring, I was starting to get some crepiness under my eyes and I was freaking out about it because you all pay attention. The last thing I want is wrinkles. I know they're coming, but I don't want them. Well, on the Mixed Makeup Facebook page, Thomas Murphy talked about a product that he had found and it was this here, the Paula's Choice Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. I love this. This has changed my eye game. I don't have that like wrinkly, crepey skin under here that was starting to happen. It's gone. And because of that, I use it every single morning without fail. I cannot live without this. I'm not sure, but this might be my favorite product slash ingredient, hands down. And it's salicylic acid from these two companies, Paula's Choice and Naturium. I started using the Paula's Choice brand first and I fell in love with it. I've used three different versions of it. This is my third version. I like them all for different reasons. Um, they, the watery one that I had had in my empties video, I think that's my favorite of the three that Paula's Choice offers, but all of them work fantastically because I didn't know, I had texture on my skin and I could see it a lot where my highlighter is and I just thought that's how my skin was until I found salicylic acid. And after using it for a couple weeks, my texture went away and I was beyond thrilled beyond. Listen, I want my makeup to look great no matter what. And it doesn't always. I mean, I'm not a makeup artist. I have some bad makeup days, but if my skin is in good shape, my makeup is in good shape. So I need the two to work hand in hand. And for me, salicylic acid has been that game changer. I've gotten rid of tons of texture. I did learn by a little bit of trial and error that if I stop using it, like, oh, my skin's better. I don't need to use it anymore. No, that doesn't work for me. I have to use it every day. I do use it every morning. It doesn't sting, burn, cause me any sort of, you know, side effects. It's part of my routine. I'm not giving it up because it has made a world of difference. I love salicylic acid. I love it from Naturium and I love it from Paula's Choice and I'm not giving it up. All right, while we're on the Naturium bandwagon, it is no secret that I love that brand. I was lucky enough to get an affiliate with them. There's an affiliate link down in the box below. I have so many of their products, you've probably noticed. I have three in this video that I cannot give up. Even though I use a range of their products daily, there are three that I really can't go without. So the salicylic acid and niacinamide. I dedicated a whole video to niacinamide. I love this ingredient so much. And this formulation from Naturium works so great on my skin. So for me during the summer, when I get a little oilier, it helped decrease my sebum production. So I was less oily. It helped with hyperpigmentation, especially after, you know, I have a breakout. It helps like that mark go away quicker. It helps even my discolored skin. It evens my skin tone. 
even though like sometimes you're like, is this working? If I stop using it, oh, you better believe I noticed that it was working and now I got to get back on that train. I love this so much. I have another one that should be showing up in the mail this week. I'm not going to be without this. This is such a fantastic product. I love it so much. Now, the other one is maybe going to surprise you, and it is their Plant Squalane. I have fallen in love with this. Now, I'd used some Squalane products from Biosense, which I loved very, very much. But this was a little different because this is the oil, and I use this a lot on my neck and chest. And right now, it's cold and dry. The furnace is on. This has been amazing for my neck and chest. I do get dry. It's not like it gets like flaky or anything, but it just looks dull. Adding squalene to my routine in the morning and sometimes in the evening has been huge. Even though I have tons of hyperpigmentation, I'm never going to look like an Instagram model. That's not what I'm going for, but I do want to have the best of what I can have with what I'm working with. And my skin is so, it just feels soft and hydrated. It doesn't feel dry. It's not dull looking. Yeah, she's got pink and brown spots, but they're not dry. They're not dusty and dull looking. I'm looking bright. I'm feeling soft. And this has been huge for that. I love this squalane. So my next three products are from the same brand. They're from Crave Beauty. And everyone loves Crave Beauty for a reason. The products are amazing. It's kind of annoying that you can't get it in stores. Like I can't go to Sephora to get it. I have to order it online, but that's fine. It's a small company owned by a young woman, Leah Yu. So I'm happy to support her and you know order it online. I think I have to pay shipping, whatever. I'm not giving up the Oat So Simple Water Cream, which is like my basic go-to everyday moisturizer. It's so light, it sinks right in, I don't even feel it. It nourishes my skin, but it's not greasy at all. It's just a great all around everyday moisturizer. Love, love, love. And then there's this jammer, the Great Barrier Relief. I didn't know that I needed this. I had seen people talking about it for a long time and I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. And finally I just kind of caved and got it because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. Oh, the hype is for real, don't get mistaken. I use this definitely when I'm using my Retin-A because my skin does get a little like irritated, a little red, flaky. And if I used my Retin-A every day, like some people do, then my skin would get used to it and that would stop happening. But that's not what I do. I use all different retinoids, you know, sometimes more gentle ones, la la la, whatever. You know, I love my anti-aging ingredients. So I use all of them. Well, because of that, my skin does get irritated and this is a savior for that. So it is a combination of like some different oils, but they work like some sort of magic elixir. They calm my skin down, they calm down the redness. If there's any peeling, flaking, drying, anything like that, it's gone by the next day. And my skin always feels soothed after I use it. You know, when you put something on, say you have a sunburn and you put a cold compress and you just get that, ah. well, I get that with this. It just soothes. It's such a great product. I only use two pumps. I use it a couple times a week because, well, let's face it, I can overdo it with some of my products. But this is just one of those things that I think you need to always have on hand in case. In case you caused yourself irritation. In case, you know, one of your products backfired on you. You just need to have something like this to heal your skin, soothe it, nurture it. And sometimes I just use it when my skin is still great because, well, I want to prolong the greatness. Great Barrier Relief, this is no joke. I, oh God, I love this product. And then there's the one product, well, category that I hate. And listen, it's probably because of when I was born. I'm a child of the 70s and we didn't have sunscreen. And once we did have sunscreen, it was thick and greasy and I just hated using it. So I didn't use it with a lot of regularity. Now my skin pays for it. So I do have to use it now because I do use all these sensitizing ingredients that you know do cause my skin to be photosensitive. So it's important that I use it. Like a lot of people on their skincare journey, you have to include sunscreen 
and doing the trial and error with all different sunscreens to find the one that's right for you is a giant pain in the ass. I've been through a bunch of sunscreens and very few have worked out until I came across the Beach Shield from Crave Beauty. Sometimes I don't even understand how this is a sunscreen. It's so amazing. It's so light. It's like a very light beauty fluid. And that's actually what it's termed here in the United States because of, well, if you wanna learn about that, you can go look at some of my other videos. But this is a sunscreen. It does protect your skin, but it is so light. It's non-greasy. I didn't believe people for a long time because I just felt like, yeah, you people just want to believe that your sunscreen is, you know, sinking in. You're not noticing it, blah, blah, blah. Well, they weren't lying. This is for real, legit, no BS, an amazing sunscreen. Did you ever use the Oil Volé Beauty Fluid that was in kind of like the bigger plastic bottle? It was like a light not watery, but it was a very light consistency. That's exactly what this is like. It's so light, it sinks into your skin, and it has protected me from the sun's rays this summer. Now, granted, I didn't spend a lot of time out in the sun, but when I would go for bike rides and stuff like that, I would put this on and I would come home and there was no pink whatsoever. I, now listen, this is small. This is a small bottle. So I do understand that people are like, ugh, for the price, use it, and then I gotta buy more, and it's expensive because I have to blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Like, I don't feel this on my skin, and that's all that matters because when I'm using all these sensitizing ingredients, I have to protect my skin, and the only way I'm gonna protect it is by actually using a product, and this is the one I'm willing to use. So I've gone on and on and on about this because if you're not using sunscreen, you should and you should use this one because you will not notice it. I have lots of moisturizers and I love them all for different reasons, but this one here, I love so much. Now I did get it recently. I haven't had it that long, but I have been using it pretty much every day, either in the morning or at night. This is Pharmacy's Honey Halo and I love this so much. Now, if I use this in the morning, I only need the tiniest amount. As a matter of fact, every time I use this scoop and, you know, get out what I'm gonna use, I'm always looking and I'm like, oh God, that doesn't look like enough. And it's always more than enough. And then at night when I get a bigger scoop because I really wanna seal in that hydration, I'm always like, oh, that looks like a lot. It's a lot, but my skin when I wake up in the morning, Oh God, it's so good. It's smooth. It's not oily. It honestly looks like I don't even need to wash it. Like I could just get up and go. This is a great product. It's expensive. I did get it with my 20% off from the Sephora sale. So that was totally worth it. And when it's empty, I'm going to get another one because I love it that much. It's very rare that you can find a moisturizer that works both morning and night that's light enough for in the morning but yet thick and occlusive enough for at night so this one here yeah because i have so many moisturizers this one here is the one that really captured my heart because it works both morning and night so those are my favorites for 2020 now don't think by any means because i didn't mention anything else of because you know i use tons and tons of products but because i didn't mention them that they don't count they totally count i use all my skincare Sometimes some products get used every other day. Sometimes some get used once a week. It depends on what my skin is going through. But these products that I showed you here are pretty much in my daily routines or at least weekly routines, this one here. And I would not give up these products for anything. I ride or die for these products and I recommend them 100%. So if you've been watching my videos, none of these products are new to you, but I think seeing them all in aggregate, you're like, oh yeah, she's talked about that before. I believe her. She really is into those products. And it's true. I am. I, like, I'm not going to give up any of these. As a matter of fact, I have, well, I have backups on the way of some of them because I don't want to run out. Well, that just about wraps it up for my favorites for 2020 skincare. I will leave links in my description box. There will be affiliate links for Notorium because I am an affiliate. If you do click on that link, I will receive a small commission from your sale. You don't have to use that link, however. You can just go to Notorium.com directly yourself. I hope you enjoyed my skincare favorites of 2020. I will be doing a makeup version this week. So if you enjoyed this, come back for that one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 12.15. Thank you so much for being with me. Mm -hmm.